Lewis Ritson continues his run of early knockouts with a first round TKO victory over Paul Highland Jr., the unbeaten Paul Highland Jr. I think he was 18 and 0 coming into this fight. And Ritson did what he's been doing lately march forward behind a good, solid jab, high guard, putting pressure on his opponent immediately. He landed some nice left hooks to the body. And that's really what set up the, certainly the first knockdown was the left hooks to the body because Highland Jr. was more concerned about those left hooks to the body than anything else. And uh, Ritson hit him with, well, he hit him with some good headshots. Highland was on the move, but the left hooks to the body distracted him. That's what I meant to say. Uh, It took his attention away from the left side of his body because he was getting hit on the right side of his body with the left hooks. And he'd been getting hit from very early on in the round with those left hooks to the body. Good shots from Ritson. And yeah, he had him in the corner. Left hook to the body went in. Took Highland Jr.'s attention away from the right side of sorry, from the left side of his body because he was getting hit with the hooks to the body on the right side. And a nice right hand landed over the top, kind of like a short right hand type hook type punch and dropped him in the corner. And yeah, Ritson went in and did the job. He did the business. He managed to drop him a couple more times, down three times. I don't think there was a free knockdown rule. I'm not sure if there was a free knockdown rule, but either way, referee waved it off. No, there can't have been because the referee looked at him first before he waved it off. And uh, yeah, another early win for Lewis Ritson. So what can I say about him? He looks pretty basic, but he's obviously got heavy hands and he's obviously carrying power at this particular level. Keeps his hands high, marches forward, good jab, good left hook to the body. And <laughs> as soon as he can get hold of, get hold of you, you get you in one spot, he's going to unload. And <laughs> so far, he's coming off better than everybody else. So we'll see how far he can take this particular style of his, this particular approach, um, if it will cut it at European and world level. Because remember, this is just British level at the moment. He's fighting for the British title. He's won it out right now, I believe. So yeah, we'll see how far he can go with it. I know he's very popular there in uh, the Northeast. He's from Newcastle. So there's a, a, a resurgence now for boxing in Newcastle with the likes of Lewis Ritson and Pretty Boy Kelly. So it's good to see other parts of the UK managing to get a bit of the love when it comes to this boxing. So yeah, let me know what you felt about Ritson's performance in the comment section below. Did you expect more from Paul Highland Jr.? Because he was unbeaten. He was 18 and 0 going into the fight. Was there any indication that he would get blasted away like he was here? Let me know what you think in the comments, people. I'm out.